Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. My name is Theo Tovek and if this is the first time you stop by, feel free to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification icon and uh, follow me on Instagram. On today's video, we are going to install a front lip. Not just any front lip, so follow me right now. So this front lip is actually the lightweight front lip that is available for F82 and F80M cars. So um, the reason I purchased this one is the fact that it is very, very, very durable and it's uh, not a carbon fiber lip like a lot of people like. It's not an M Performance, Voice Steiner. There are many lips available out there that would do the same function. But the difference is that this one is very thick and a lot of people that have this expensive carbon fiber uh, front lip usually they uh, you know whenever they scrap the carbon fiber can break and they have to replace it with this one I don't have to worry about none of that so uh, that's the reason why I purchased the lightweight uh, front lip instead of any other front lip so uh, yeah let's go ahead and install it the first step is to jack up your card and put it on some ramps so you have easy access on the on the side of the front bumper right here the second step is to remove seven screws these are eight millimeters these are the screws holding this uh, wind deflector on, under the car here so it's one two three four and there's three on the side here that um, we have to remove so and they are held by eight millimeter screws so let's go ahead and remove them The next step is to remove these eight millimeter screws from the bumper. One, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and remove them. Before installing the lip, I want to point out that uh, I went ahead and clean up the underside of the uh, bumper here because it was a little dirty. And as you can see, uh, I've scraped a few times on this one and a few times right there too while driving all right let me go ahead and also um explain where exactly each screws we're going to go to so that these four screws are the ones that will be here on the front on the front here these will be replacing the four screws that we have there that um we remove recently the one that are holding the bumper on the middle portion these will be replacing those and we pretty much will be using them in addition to these so from the bottom side this screw will go to the to the lip then after the lip is going to be going into this little um piece right here and then going into the bumper directly so that's how you install these one now um went ahead and cut the this little spacer thing because um the version one actually sag a little bit on the bottom on the on the bottom here because the way it was constructed so what uh, people do on the forum is that they cut off a little bit so that's what uh, we, we did here so i cut that a little bit so that it will be even off when um, i'm doing it once i'm done i will explain again further so you guys can see now these screws are the one that we hold the side here this side and that side right there so pretty much the idea is that you are we are going to drill into here into these specific marks and then after that we insert these and then on the top of the on the top of the bumper here inside we are going to pretty much put the bolts on top of the screw that's how it's going to be tightened and secure so that's how you install and now these little small uh, stealth tapping screws that we pretty much going to screw into those uh, these uh small holes these two right here these two and those two on that side so that's pretty much how the installation is done it's pretty simple so let's go ahead and uh, do the process to wrap what we're going to do now is attach these so now i put the small spacers on these two middle i will put down on these two middle holes and then the one that are further away i'm going to attach the big um the big spacer so let me go ahead and do that right now so you can see so these screws that come included are held by a t25 so pretty much what you do is you kind of line them up like that and start uh, screwing a little bit not too much just because you just want them to kind of like go in a little bit all right 
okay so this is the result right here this is kind of like how they are supposed to be coming out and then next you will be putting you know the little spacers this way so again like i mentioned the longer ones are the one that i put on the outer edge and the smaller one are in the middle so let me now go ahead and screw them on the original oem uh, hole from the bottom of the bumper all right so as you can see i've mounted them right here and now i have to use a six millimeter drill bit and pretty much create holes from here 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 and here into the bumper and you can see that they line up pretty well so uh, we do that right now so let's see the process make sure you align before making a hole so i've made holes as you can see they are lined up right there for holes and again i have a neighbor cutting the grass as you can see so um, i'm sorry if you can hear a lot of grassy noise so now pretty much what we have to do is to take this one these screws put it in there all the way like that and then on the inside here of the wheel hatch we are going to attach the mounting bolt on top of the screw and secure it so we do it on all of them so let's go ahead and do that right now again i prefer to actually put the screws first then uh, worry about the bolt on the other side because it's those are very smaller so first i touch that like that So as you can see, these are the screws lined up and how I secure them and this is exactly how it needs to be done. You just take a little bit of time and patience but eventually you will get there. The final step is to install the self-tapping screw onto these two holes, one right here and the last final one that is open right there. That will secure the lip on those two ends. So again, you just drill a self-tapping hole there and then it will stay in place. Same thing on the other side. So let me go ahead and do it right now. After complete installation, this is how the bottom should look. You have uh, all the screws lined up. So now you can go ahead and put back that on the tray, uh, wind deflector, and um, the job is done. So let me go ahead and put it back and I call it a day. finished product very very beautiful as you can see here, it is nice and uh, it keeps that OEM aggressive look I don't want the car to be too aggressive like some uh, front lip can give out this is nice and this is overall how it looks on the car you can see it blends in very well and it protects the bottom while retaining a nice OEM sexiness so I love it Alright guys, so you saw I just installed the front lip on my car, so what do you think? Do you like the look? I definitely love it and um, I would recommend the lightweight front lip for anyone that um, pretty much want to have something that will give, retain that OEM look and also something that is very durable. There are many many uh, other lips out there, so if you like this one, 
I'm gonna put a link where you can get one for yourself. So again, thank you again for watching and feel free to subscribe and stay safe out there, man. So see you next time onto the next video.